what's going on. All right, so we got water dripping, probably some rubber washer or the valve are bad. So we're gonna address that today. So first you wanna shut off the water supply. Um, so this is in the bathroom usually. Under the sink somewhere, there are two valves, one for hot water, one for cold water. You want to uh, just completely close them. We need to pop this cover off. So I'm just gonna try to pry it up with a screwdriver. So once this is pried off, you can see there's the screw holding that on. So then this guy unscrews and this whole handle comes off. There is, uh, on ours, there's this retaining clip. Next we have to pull this guy out. Okay, next there's this like plastic retainer which you can see here. There's this line on one piece here and one piece on the top. There you go. It's like one piece here, one piece on the top. I have my pliers here. Just kind of try to rotate a little bit. I just grabbed this piece with pliers and just pulled it all up and the whole thing basically uh, comes out with a little bit a little bit more force. So it might be hard to capture this on camera in terms of what exactly is going on inside but this is just like a metal tube. There are two openings, one for the water coming in through this valve, one through this valve. Um, and all the rubber components are in here. So most likely I will just go and get a whole new valve because replacing each one of these rubber gaskets is kind of be a, a pain and I'm not sure they even make parts. These, these things over time, you know, they slide up and down. It just wears out and it stops sealing as well as it should. So in terms of the model, I'm assuming so this is, looks like a MOEN, M-O-E-N style so i'm gonna go to home depot hopefully those guys can uh, help me out i'm gonna bring this part maybe you know measure some diameters or whatever lengths uh, and then uh, replace just one to ace and picked up this replacement cartridge which is 838t but it says it's a replacement for molen 1225 and molen 1225 is exactly the structure that i have here which uh, controls the volume of the flow, meaning when you pull out the handle, that controls how much water is actually coming out, and then you can rotate it left or right to get hot or cold. It does not work with the kind where you just, you know, turn uh, the handle, and then at some point it becomes warmer, and at some point it becomes really hot. The new cartridge comes with instructions on how to remove the old one, as well as install the new one. Unfortunately, most of the time with uh, older houses, you don't know what model you have and what model you need. You're kind of on your own to figure out how to remove the old one, take it to the store, which is what I usually suggest doing. Um, because, you know, even a slight uh, difference in diameter, slight difference in uh, distance between uh, some of these seals can really matter in terms of how it seals and works. It comes with this uh, tool, quote unquote, which would be useful for removing the old one. You remember I said this plastic clear things you can just rotate. I just used uh, my pliers while well, you kind of loosen it up and then you can pull it all out. The installation of this kind of matters. So let me show you what I mean. So you can see uh, the, this opening and this opening, these have to line up with the sides of uh, what's inside the faucet, which is where the water is entering. So you cannot you know you cannot insert it and install it this way because there will be no water flow and then you just slide it in everything here is pretty much symmetric and then these two tabs so the the plastic uh, clear tabs that I was talking about they have to be in this uh, kind of vertical plane orientation because this retainer clip that we would have to put on remember was coming in and out this way rather than this way so if you have it in right orientation, um, the retainer clip will be able to fit over them. If you have this rotated 90 degrees like this, to where the tabs are now kind of on the sides, you will not be able to get the retainer clip on. So then we just push it in. It's going to be probably a little bit tougher to push it in because the seals are new, so they're going to be sealing a little bit better. So that's a closed position. Let's get it inward. Let's see, that's probably why you have this little tool. 
to help me push it in a little bit further. Um, so now these two plastic tabs that I was talking about earlier, they're basically flush with this, uh, this outer tube. You can see here. Now we can install the retainer. So that's going to go in here, that's going to go in there. It just snaps in place like that. Perfect. Now this guy is uh, the limiter. So what it does is it allows you to turn the handle once we install it, you can see there are like two notches here. It allows you to turn the handle or only a certain amount rather than spin it. This uh, slides on just like that. This notch up top will line up with the notch in that uh, retainer clip that we just installed. Next we would put the handle on. And that should line up. You can see that the handle itself is longer side to side than it is vertically. that's going to line up exactly with uh, this shape here so it's going to go on if we were let's say I had this rotated 90 degrees like that and then this would be perpendicular to how the handle would go on so the handle would actually not go on you can see you would need to rotate it 90 degrees in order for it to slide on uh, I'm just trying to line up everything kind of uh, at square one so to speak so that's going to go on this way Next, we're going to tighten up. Go ahead and tighten this. Um, and then the last thing, now that we've tightened this guy on, is just to um, snap this back on. Now I'm going to go under the sink and open these guys up. Nothing is leaking, and let's just make sure that it is actually working. No? Okay. Well, so uh, that is basically it. So next time you don't have to call uh, a plumber and pay them, uh, you know, a hundred bucks to uh, just fix a quick leak. Most of the others are pretty similar. You know, the cartridges, if you have uh, two separate handles, one for hot water here, one for cold water here, you know, you would just remove these, some kind of cover, a bolt, the handle, and then there will be a cartridge, some sort of retaining mechanism similar to this retaining mechanism for the cartridge. One of the rubber seals would probably be just, you know, too flat to actually be able to seal the water, and it would just be slowly dripping in. Okay, that's it. Hopefully that was helpful.